back to the Renaissance. Uh, my name is Shay, and today I just wanted to touch up on a topic that occurred earlier today, and it's from the President of the United States, Mr. Joe Biden. Um, so he was on a Zoom call or some type of live feed with other governors from around the country, and essentially he stated that there is no federal solution as it pertains to the virus, the pandemic, essentially. And that everything should be handled by on the state on the state level, basically. And this was very troubling to me for a couple of reasons. As he was running for president, he stated that Donald Trump doesn't know what he's doing. It's been eight months since this thing took off. Trump doesn't have a clue, but he said he did. Fast forward now, almost a year into his presidency, it's gotten worse. Now, I'm not the one that, played, like, like, that likes to play tick for tat on a political scale. I just like to call it like I see it. What do I mean by that? I don't blame Joe Biden for what's going on now, for the virus. I didn't blame Donald Trump either. The people who should be held accountable and aren't being held accountable is China. Why? It beats me. You would think that Congress would be trying to investigate and have hearings on the origin of the virus. No, nah. but instead, they want to have hearings for January 6th. Joe Biden said the virus should be handled on a state level. Meanwhile, governors like Ron DeSantis of Florida, Greg Abbott of Texas, he's saying that they don't know what they're doing. Yet in both of those states, both states, <laughs> in both of those states, they have the lowest uh, outbreaks essentially in the country. Those two states, I forget who's number three. So they've been doing the right thing. Yet, if if the president says there's no federal solution for this virus, why are you still implementing mandates? Federal. Why are you doing that? So in one breath, you said there's no solution from the federal government. On the other hand, all these mandates for, you know, the jab are still present. Like you can't like what's going on. That's 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 interesting. And it's scary because it's clearly it's totally an abuse of power. And it's not just the president. You, you know what's so alarming about this administration? There's no bright spot, like literally none. You look at the president, he sucks. The vice president, she sucks. The attorney general, he sucks. The, the secretary of the treasury, she sucks. The secretary of state, he sucks. The secretary of the defense, he sucks. Everybody's just trash. There's literally no bright spots in this administration. I don't know, man. You know, just, I mean, prove me wrong.